You're listening to Slightly Warped, the podcast that tackles topics from every angle. Here's Richard Kearney and Ryan Foley. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast, uh, along with Ryan Big Show Pulley, I am Rick Little Show Kearney. <laughs> Little Show. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on? Man, I just, another one of them weeks, just uh, crazy stuff happening every day. Um, just trying to survive, man. Just yes, to survive. sir. Y'all getting some rain down there by chance? Bro, we got maybe five minutes of rain this morning. That's it. Really? That was it. And I'm like, this we just got spit on. That that's that's all that was. Yeah, it rained all day yesterday. Um, that cold weather is gonna finally start coming in. Yeah. So we I might hear as well we're get ready I hear we're it. in for one heck of a winter around here. So you think so? Winter is coming. Oh, I like that Game of Thrones reference you just slid in there. <laughs> so, the name of this episode, Equality is Not Equal. And as we dive through the episode, we're going to find out uh, why I titled it that way. But I want to ask you a question first, because, you know, okay. we got to start off with some fun. Throw me out a name, any celebrity you want. Name me a celebrity that you just wish would just go away. I'm not saying they have to die or anything morbid like that, but if the camera never set foot on them again, the world would be a better place. Just one? Well, if you could go multiple because I would pick every single member of the Kardashians. Well, thank you for tuning in. See you next week. <laughs> uh Kanye, I'm tired of seeing him. He would fall under that category since he right. was married to one. He um, is the biggest idiot that I've ever, 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 ever. Ever, ever? Ever, ever. Man. <sighs> yeah, I can't even put it into words. Keep going. <laughs> just... Is Joe Biden a celebrity? Ah. Nah, I wouldn't count him as a celebrity. Okay, well, I'll keep him off my list then. Uh, the Smith family, I would like to not see or hear from them again. That would be cool. Unfortunately, we know that's not going to happen because movies are being filmed. So as long as the head of the family, allegedly, because, you know, you could say probably She's not. She's not in no movies. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. As long as second in command is, is uh, filming a movie, uh, yeah, we're not going to get rid of them anytime soon, right? Oh God, who's who's some more? Just a lot of useless celebrities. Um, I can't even name a lot of them because when I hear when I like watch entertainment news or something like that, I hear somebody's name and I'm like, who is that? I mean, part of me feels old, but part of me feels like. This person shouldn't be famous because they haven't earned it. They haven't really right. done anything. I'm, I'm tired okay. of seeing all these people, these young, wet behind the ears, snot nosed kids that are famous because they were in a Disney TV show once upon a time or something and all that mess. Man, the old man just came out of you right there. <laughs> I know. I think I think another gray hair popped out. <laughs> You know, football wise, I wouldn't mind if Troy Aikman and Joe Buck, you know, fell off the face of the earth. I think we're going if we're going there, I need I need Tony Romo to hit the bricks. Tony Romo's not bad as Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. I don't know. I'm tired of hearing about If I Tony's had to choose out of all three of those, deuces to Joe Buck. At least in football. Yeah. I mean, you know, if we're gonna take some people out of there, bring back Gus Johnson. He had flavor. Yeah. Yeah, he did. 
you know, I, the I, fact that I'd rather hear Gus say, than those guys. Let's put it that on, way. The fact that you say Gus Johnson, and there's some people that are going to be watching this going, who the hell is Gus Johnson? Tells you he really ain't nothing. Actually, if you watch college football, you know who Gus is. So, yes. He has a distinctive voice, that's for sure. That's true. Um, wow. I guess celebrities get off the hook easy in this episode because I can't really think of too many more off the top of my head. Right. As soon as we're done filming, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I should have said this one. And that right. One. <laughs> yeah. I should have just went down the Kardashian list one at a time. That way, you know. I think we filled up the list pretty much with them and the Smith family. Yeah. I think we're yeah. good. Yeah. So, um, Let's get let's go deep now then. Okay. Um, as as a happily married young man, you don't have to worry about this mess no more. But tell me about a time that an ex did you dirty and how did you respond? Man, it's been so long since since I've had an ex. <laughs> Anything that they've done, I've already forgot about. And that's I the can't thing. really think. I can't really think of anything where I was done dirty. I was in my younger days. I was probably the one doing the dirt. Oh, t tell it now. T no, <laughs> honestly, I mean, if I was being honest, you know, I mean, I I wasn't the best boyfriend at a young age. <laughs> hey, we all have to take our time, mature in our own way, so that's all good. Say that again. You cut out. Oh, I'm sorry. I said we all have to uh, take our time and mature in our own way. Ooh. Okay, hold on for a second. Let me check something here. Okay. Yeah, I got full bars. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you just... Well, no, you froze for a second. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Because on my end, I couldn't tell anything. But when as soon as you said that, it, it said there was a problem with the internet. And then it just flashed back off again. Yeah, now you're back up and right. Okay. But what I was saying, though, was um, get my train of thought here. Um, I was saying that, you know, we all take our, our time in our own way to mature and, and, and become better versions of who we are meant to be. Or at right. least we're supposed to. So as we dive into the next topic, I am really hoping that we handle this with maturity because there's so many different uh, facets to it um not just women in sports but i want to talk about kids in sports man okay um and did you get a chance to uh see that um that thing that i forwarded to you um it it would have been a facebook article and it was about a uh girl that was playing i believe high school sports i'm gonna see if i can pull that up in the old saved list here did you forward that to me via text uh i actually forwarded it to you on facebook okay but it, it, it's okay i can i can read it i've got it here basically a uh, teen makes history becoming the first female to score two touchdowns in a game in california all right so she's it shows a picture of her. She's clearly in the high school, high school sports. And um, there's nothing wrong with that. Let me preface that before we go any further. There's nothing wrong with girls playing high school sports. But, and there is a caveat, and I'm going to get into that, that but here in just a second. Because I started reading some of the comments that uh, people had made. And that's <coughs> where it... Uh, it kind of got interesting. Um, not gonna really, not really gonna paraphrase on any of the comments or anything, but some of them had interesting points and some of them that were just blatantly bad. If we just focus on the high school part for a second, I want to say that if she's just as good as them boys, she can be out there and playing them. Now, somebody mentioned in the first comment that a lot of those boys whiffed on the tackles or they didn't tackle her as hard because they didn't want to be the ones that put her down or hurt her. That's when I started thinking about this. I'm like, I never looked at it from that perspective. 
I would just always think, hey, if she can do it, she can do it. I never looked at it as the opposing team person. Um, talk about that for a second. Could you line up opposite a girl and would you give it your all if you had to hit her or not? Here's the thing. What position was she playing? Oh, now you're going to make me look and see if the article has that position in here. Uh, well, she scored two touchdowns. It had to be running back. Let me see. Could be receiver. Could be receiver. Could be tight she end. Yeah, could have been right. playing defense and got two interceptions or two fumble recoveries. She's a running back and a defensive end. So she, she played running right. back. So – I would so that's going to change my answer just a little bit. If I didn't know what position she was playing, mm -hmm. and like say she wasn't a starter or whatever, I mean, I guess probably <sighs> the politically correct answer would be no, I probably would not um, hit her with all I had, however. I mean, martial arts wise, I train with women and I didn't hold back. So, I mean, because I'm doing them a disservice, self defense wise. Exactly. Self defense wise, I'm doing them a disservice by, by being nice. Football's different. I'm not doing her a disservice by being nice. I'm doing my team a disservice. That being said, I probably would light her up. I'd probably, you know, Steve Atwater right in the middle of the field. However, I do see that point because it, it's kind of, you know, no different than in the, I mean, it is different. It's way different. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be Tom Brady here, but the military with women on the battlefield was a mm -hmm. big thing, we you know, with guys not, you know, not being able to concentrate because if they see a woman hurt, their instinct is to protect. Yeah. You know, that's just, that's built in our nature, especially if you're on our team type of thing. So, I don't know. It's it's kind of a. Am I am I okay with it? Yes, by all means, yes, I'm okay with it. But do I think that maybe the other team didn't maybe a whiff? I mean, yeah, it's possible. I could see that happening. I can also see that she's just that good too. Yeah, and and, and I want to touch on all three of those facets here real quick because I like what you said there first. Would you hold back a little? Yeah. I would too. It's it's in our nature. It is. The second part though is you said that you probably um with Steve Atwater her in the middle of the field. Yeah, no, but you said you'd be doing <laughs> her a disservice. A disservice and yes. your team a disservice. If, I if wouldn't you, be necessarily doing her a disservice by not well, tackling her hard. I would be well, definitely this doing is, my this team. is how you this is how I view it. Mm -hmm. I think you would be doing her a disservice. She signed up just like him, him, and him. And a lot, a lot of females now will want to take it to the next level. Do you think they're going to handle it that way in college? What level? A girl's not going to play college football. Girls no. already do. Girls already do. Not, not in that position they don't. But let's, there might say, be a that, kicker. let's, say, let's say that it's coming. Give me a Power Five conference that has a girl on their team. Well, I'm just saying, let's say it's coming. But it's not. I, I don't see it anytime soon. We are in the Me Too age, brother. So anything. We are happen. too. But you, there is no. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is where I'm going to probably piss some women off. But you know what? Who cares? I only need to take care of the one and my daughter. So I'll piss some chicks off. It's all right right now. All right. Women say they can do everything that a man can do. P standing up. You can't. <laughs> so not saying that that women shouldn't be allowed X, Y, Z. That's not what I'm saying. But a woman playing a male dominated sport. I don't see that happening. Cop, you know, high school, middle school, yes. That's why they have professional female leagues. Mm -hmm. So I don't foresee like a power five conference 
letting a woman come in and play a contact sport such as football in one of those positions. Kicker, where she's not ever going to get hit, maybe. But I don't like – this girl's not going to get a running back scholarship for Alabama. And I see where you're coming from. I understand with the Power 5 situation. But I can see her appearing to dominate in high school and some little school, little college, actually wanting to maybe take a chance and sign her. I don't see they're not getting there. they're not getting 100 percent of what they see. I, I, I don't even see a nitty bitty college doing that. They don't want the backlash of her getting hurt on a field. No, no yeah. school's going to want see, that. that. That's, that's, a, that's another that's facet a, that I didn't think of. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. I don't know if you can get sued for that, could you? I mean, just like a, just like a guy. I mean, you sign, let, you let, sign up for let, it. Let Tua get hurt again and see if he doesn't sue the NFL. Uh, yeah, that's true. But, you know, he's the idiot that went in and, you know. I'm just saying. Oh, it's my I back. Mean, if if people can sue McDonald's for giving you hot coffee, <laughs> yeah. In this day and age, everybody's sue happy. They are. Um, I just think that there's going to be more and more women playing high school sports, and I think that we are headed down a slippery slope because it puts us in a position where we're damned if we do or we're damned if we don't. If we hold back, that makes them look good. And that could spell trouble in the future. If if dude just goes out there and whoever's on the linebacker position and just levels her, then he's kind of an asshole. Yeah, but he's well, doing his, his team. Job. Is, he's, his he's, team is high fiving him. You know, he's so. playing his he's he's playing the sport like it should be played. But that's the problem. It's going to make other players hesitant mm -hmm. to do their job. But again, kids aren't getting paid to play the sport so you know six one half dozen the other in my opinion <clears throat> I, I I don't again I don't think it's a disservice for them to not hit her as hard as they would somebody else I'm not saying be two hand touch you know but you know if a smaller running back is on that field the linebackers aren't going to take it any easier on it now, as I close this out, though, let me let me just put another facet on there. Uh, she plays running back. There's a fumble. There's a pile. We all hear stories about what goes on uh, under the pile. You put a woman down there. Now you're talking lawsuits. Now you're talking Possibly. allegations. Possibly. And no a team's going to want a female on their team because of that. They don't want that responsibility. And yes, that might be the shittiest answer I could give you, but it's I real. think it's the most truthful answer. Yeah, it's 100% That can be real. stated. And you know what? I'm all for, if my daughter wanted to go play football, by all means, go do it. See if you like it. All that, the more girls that play football is going to be great. All, But let's start a female football squad. And they don't yeah. need to be wearing the bikinis like they do in the bikini league and no. all that bull crap. No, no, powder, not, no powder puff football. I'm not trying to, you know, to sexualize the sport. But, you know, let's suit them up and play, but play against each other where it's equal and fair. And, you know, you, you don't want men jumping in that sport versus, you know, women. So it shouldn't be the other way around. Yeah, and I want to let everybody know we are not saying that there's no woman out there that just can't go out there and level some dude. Oh, That's yeah, there's good. plenty of them. You know, I but, know a lot of tough chicks that can kick my ass. Yeah, I mean, it's just a very slippery slope. And I think less from a physical standpoint, more from a legal standpoint, because you brought up some very interesting points. Uh, real quick, I just want to tell everybody that's watching on YouTube, chime in. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this subject. <clears throat> and again, we are not coming down on women because, you know, I love me some NBA. And I'll tell you in a heartbeat, Cheryl Miller was better than Reggie. Deal with it. Deal with it, Reggie. Deal with it. But since we are talking about football, 
let's go to the National Football League. Da, 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 da. We need some like <clears throat> we need some theme music whenever we do that. I think I think I'm gonna pick some of that up. <laughs> um AFC West is garbage. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, that we'll use that word. Um it, it it's it's getting better in some facets and not in others. So let's go from the top down. Kansas City showed that they were still Kansas City. You know, they were down what 13 nothing to San Francisco. <laughs> not a problem. It's 10 nothing, but yeah. 10, what whatever it, it it don't matter because they doubled right. them up. They spotted them 10 points. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Didn't this happen in the Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah we have a tendency to do that. Yeah. Spot some teams up. And I think we mentioned it last week. Kansas City has they 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 play so much better when they're behind. It's like it kicks in at that point. Yeah. You know, watching that game, I'm hoping that we saw the start of something offensively that we hadn't seen in, in the in the six games prior or five games prior, however, however many games that was. Um because I believe MVS had a hundred yards. Mm-hmm. Uh, Schuster had a, had a hundred yards. Yeah, Kelsey had ninety eight. Hartman had three touchdowns. You know, so it's nice to see those guys. When they said, you know, Tyreek, you know, without Tyreek, we ain't gonna do nothing. I, I like the the way that they played. I God, hope that this I is the beginning of them jelly. Right, me too. But I, I hope that this is the, the beginning of them starting to be – because, you know, a couple of them long passes to MVS and even that, that last touchdown to Juju, that was a field play. Like, okay, I know my quarterback's going to do this. Let me go over here. And it was, you know, Juju perfectly sat down in, in, in the little pocket there and then the rest was history. So, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed that game. Now – I just heard that Frank Clark's been suspended for the next two games. I was so. going to ask you, do you know why he was suspended? Oh yeah, because of the uh, the gun allegations that he got busted in. in uh, okay, so they California finally with. they finally yeah, that's came what to he's being suspended for. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think that'll be a problem when we when we get to week eight scoreboard. Um, I mean, week eight predictions that won't weigh any different into. Uh, yeah, because we have winning. a bye, so we won't See? we won't win or we won't win or lose. But the, he will miss week nine and week ten. I think we play uh, Tennessee and Jacksonville. Those are the two games we're gonna. He's not gonna be with. I don't think you'll have a you know a problem. Jacksonville with... might be a little bit of an issue, but you know it is what it is. I, I to me, I'm 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 taking it as great. We'll get to see more of of uh, Karloftis in that position. See? So see what he's up. You know what he's made of. I agree. Then there's the Denver Broncos. I don't even know who they played. I don't even care who they played. They didn't score a touchdown, bro. What's with this drought? Oh, they played Seattle, didn't they? Yeah, Seattle. No, just... no, no, no. no. Was it... no Seattle, Seattle played San Diego. Seattle played San Diego. We'll get to them in a Or minute. Los Angeles. Uh, who did they play? They like play? they stuck in. Uh... Denver played the Jets. That's right, and and the Jets, you know, beat up the on Jets them. Are good. Yeah, Jets yeah, are good. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so um, Denver sucks, man. Is it and, safe to say Denver's out of it already? Oh yeah, I I think my five and thirteen predictions looking pretty good. Let me ask you this: the Raiders have the same record as the Broncos now, but I feel comfortable saying that my team still has a shot at the playoffs. However slim it is, but they still have a shot. I can't say that same thing about the Broncos because they look like two completely different teams. Yeah, Broncos don't even have a snowball's chance in hell to make the playoffs. Uh, the Raiders, they have some get-right games. Yeah. And um, have y'all played Denver yet? Yeah, we beat them. That was our first win. Okay. So The problem play is we went to Kansas City the following week and, you know, so you'll play him again, and you'll get a win, and 
You lost to the Chargers the first game. But you'll points. win the second one. Yeah. You'll win the second one. So and then, you know, you still got I think you just beat Houston. So you're gonna have Jacksonville and them coming up. So Yeah. Coming up we have the New Orleans Saints and then we got Jacksonville. Yeah, I see, those are winnable games. And if y'all run the rock like y'all did this past week, I mean, Jacobs went off. So yeah. Um if you yeah, look I'm at not, our I mean, next... but the prop your guys' problem is is that the Jets are playing well, Buffalo Obviously, he's going to be in Miami's playing well. Baltimore's playing well. Cincinnati's playing well. That's the problem with you guys making the playoffs and where you're at right now. Yeah, too many teams ahead of us. So I'm, I'm going to need some losing streaks to start in uh, other divisions. And, yeah, now we'll talk about those. We'll do our part. Our Chargers. Um, Chargers, Chargers every year. On paper, look wonderful, but mm-hmm. for some reason, every year somebody's done some voodoo on them, and key players get injured, and they're just fighting the injury bug, and they've been doing it for the last three or four years, and they're still, I mean, I think I've seen Williams go out, Keenan Allen's been hurting, is Bosa Herbert, out? Uh, Bosa's still out, Herbert, yeah. uh, still dealing with his ribs. I know they lost a couple offensive linemen. So, so J.C. Jackson also went out this. That's past right. Week. He's gone. He's gone for the season. Yeah. So you know it's. The, mm, yeah. See you next year. You, I, I can firmly say that the Raiders will be number two in the division. Oh, fingers crossed. Hope so, because you know we 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 need that outside shot. We need as much as we can. Um, and, and coming up with the picks, yeah. Uh, the Raiders. What did I say? They've got New Orleans. It's in New Orleans. I I do still see that as a winnable game, though. I see it as a winnable game, but I'm gonna go and pick New Orleans just because. Oh, you cut me deep, man! Screw the Raiders. Okay, screw the Broncos too, though, because they got Jacksonville coming up. Oh yeah, well, obviously Jacksonville's gonna win that game. I told you Jacksonville's tougher than people give them credit for. Like I'm worried about Jacksonville playing us. I wouldn't be. They're a young team, though, and they still make young team. They got uh, they, they got decisions. a good coach. Yeah, I would say that the Chargers are up next, but uh, they have the bye they, too. They also have a bye. Yeah, so yeah. they won't lose. That's true. So they got a week to get right. Uh, Kansas City's got a week to uh, go party, get some more players suspended to help us out. Um, <laughs> you know something. Help brother out. They've only lost two games. We'll do our part. Yeah, but the two we lost, I mean, we shouldn't have lost to the Colts. And you should have lost to the Raiders. Um but yeah, except I mean y'all forgot how to cover a tight end, but no, that was coaching on that. Y'all still didn't cover tight end. We had two chances to win it though at the end of the game. Yeah. Run it. And kick the field goal. Run it. Kick the field goal. <laughs> Don't pass. Right, but the only reason why that's a point is because before that, we didn't just kick the extra point. Yeah, that's true. We went for two. If we would have kicked the extra point, y'all would have had to score anyway. But, you know, yeah. I, a loss is a loss. But, like, yeah. the, the Colts game, I was befuddled with. How in the hell did we lose? We lost to the Bills. You know what? It really wasn't that bad of a loss. Yeah, they beat us. You know, we made some bad mistakes. They beat us with the last 90 seconds of the game. Kudos to them. You won the regular season matchup. We'll see you again. Uh, And again, I still say that that Bills win is actually a loss for them because y'all going to see them again, and it's not going to be the same. And we're going to have players back that weren't on that field, you know. But, you know, that's football. We'll be all right. All right. Bro. It was fun to watch. Who's fun to watch? Super fun to watch. Besides myself. The Giants. They are. They are. The Giants are a fun team to watch, and they look like a young Buffalo team. That Daniel Jones, he looks like an Eli during that first Super Bowl run. Watch Danny Dimes, the way he plays, the way he coached. It looks like a young Josh Allen. Now, I'm not saying that they're on the same level because they're not. 
But in that offense, which Dabo, you know, was the OC for Buffalo, he brought that over, that mindset, that attitude. And if Barkley can stay healthy, look out. Exactly. So when do we when do we get to change our Super Bowl picks? Uh, after week eight, as a matter of fact, the midway point. Week eight. Okay, so good. Next so we week. get to make some. We get to make now, some adjustments. I'm going to okay. ask you a question before we close it out, though. It's okay. a dual question, actually. Okay. Top three quarterbacks, one, two, three, in the league right now. NFC, AFC, spread it out however you want. And just one, who's the biggest disappointment at quarterback this year? Top three quarterbacks right now, like career or just how they're playing this year? This year, because I would say Mahomes, Allen, and then I'd probably say, um, who's the kid over in um, – God, not Tennessee. Um, um, oh, we probably got the same three: Mahomes, Allen, and Hurts. Yes, Philly Hurts. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, because Jalen Hurts is balling out. He, yeah. he is. Uh, you know, I give you know, Jalen Hurts but, is third. Josh Allen and, and Mahomes. You can interchange them. You know, in my yeah. opinion, I, I'm going to say my disappointment. Is Herbert? We talked about it before. On paper, they're supposed to look so good, but you know, even with the players he has, he's overthrowing, underthrowing. I mean, you could probably say Matt Ryan, but hey, by the way, they he's he's benched. He's no longer their quarterback. Well, then that um, would probably be a wise choice. I can't say Her Herbert is my disappointment because. He is what he is. That's what he's always been. He yeah. he's exactly the same player that he's been. He then would really you say good, Russell Wilson? Disappoint? No, I'm not even going there. Tom Brady and Aaron mm. Rodgers. I'm going to call mm. them both a disappointment. The, Ooh, the way I know we got. This year, I know we got less than a minute left, but I agree with you on Tom Brady. I disagree on Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't have anybody left to throw to. He's got all those young kids. They got to get on the same page. You know, because he's going to do what he's going to do, run around and everything. You know, um, you, you know what I say about excuses, right? Everybody's got one. Yep. So, you know, it doesn't matter who Aaron Rodgers has to throw it to. He's an arrogant prick, and he should bring the guys up, build them up like every other quarterback does. Tom Brady ain't got nobody to throw to. Uh, you might be right. Well, you're definitely but, right. You know, All Hall right. of Fame quarterbacks. True. They don't, they don't, leave they don't it like get that. no excuses. They don't get no excuses. Hey, guys, like, share, subscribe. We are heading out of here for Big Show. I'm Rick. Later. See you next week. Unless my team loses, then I'm jumping out a window. <laughs>